welcome to our first video in the series on bridging the data gap, how statisticians can communicate data science to Christian leaders. The thing that organizations always have as their strong suit is they have a good understanding of their goals, what they want to accomplish. For Christian organizations, those goals almost always involve making an impact. An impact on people's lives, an impact in people's hearts, but impact nonetheless. The hard part is trying to connect these concepts. They know who they are. They know what they want. But how do I connect these two concepts that can at times seem really far apart? I'm here to say that data is one great way to connect these pieces together. In this talk, I actually want to talk about each one of these three pieces, preparation and understanding, data, and impact, all in more detail. The first video in this series, though, is going to focus primarily on preparation and understanding. So let's talk a little bit more about preparation and understanding. Each one of these slides is going to have a Bible verse that I think is going to encapsulate everything that we need to talk about. So let's lead with that. 1 Corinthians 12.12 12. The human body has many parts, but the many parts make up one whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Let's talk about problem solving. Leaders of organizations and data scientists really have a lot in common. Both want to solve problems. Both want to create impact. This common ground is the foundation for how we can connect these two groups of people to solve the problems that organizations have. The leaders understand the problem and the organization at a level that statisticians and data scientists do not. However, the data scientist understands the data and how to measure impact in a way that the leaders desire to know more about. But we are a part of one body. Together, we can solve problems that none can solve alone. See, too often, data scientists are chasing down exciting projects without really understanding what the problem is at hand. The, I've got a solution for you. What is your problem again? Mentality. Some analysis is easy, and sometimes that easy analysis can drive big results. I can remember a time when I was a consultant where in all honesty, the easiest thing for us to create was an Excel spreadsheet that just more easily allowed the user to be able to understand the data that they had. We could run tons and tons of models, but it wasn't the impact that they were looking for. Instead of chasing down problems that didn't exist, we tried to keep in mind what the users were looking for. Now, of course, that being the case, we need to talk about listening as well as asking questions. Let's jump to Proverbs. Proverbs 21, 23. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut, and you will stay out of trouble. Oh man, if only I'd listened to that many more times in my life. How can everyone be on the same page, these leaders, these data scientists? The hardest part of any problem is truly understanding the results that are wanted. We cannot underestimate this part of the puzzle. Lay out plans. Have multiple meetings. Define what success looks like. To do that, as data scientists, we're going to have to listen. And listening requires two things. First, it requires desire. We have to want to listen. Second, it requires humility. We have to understand that we don't know everything. And in a lot of times, we need guidance. That's what the leaders are there for, to be able to help us in this area. Listening drives questions. I, in fact, I'll be honest. Let me tell you again a story about my consulting career. I was asked multiple times if all of these meetings, because we used to have a lot of preparatory meetings before we really dove into solving the problem. I was asked multiple times, are all these meetings really that important? But I'll be honest with you. Never have I had success 
without having these meetings. But I have had failure without having these meetings. And that's something to always keep in mind. Listening and preparation can lead to being able to protect ourselves from missteps down the road. All right, now let's talk about the next concept, starting small. Let's jump back to the New Testament here, Matthew 25, 23. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I give you many more responsibilities. I'll be honest. The biggest problem I've had in my career as a data scientist is one I see all the time. Don't try to do everything all at once. Start small. Small successes that have good results can show quick value, which in an organization that may not be as data-driven as they can be, can gain and show momentum. Once you show value, once you gain momentum with data science inside of an organization, that is where data science can really take off and help connect the understanding to the measuring of impact. Of course, this means we have to be patient. Patience is a virtue. Gaining momentum, though, can change the culture of an organization. Start thinking about data in a different way. Data is a tool. Data is not a threat. It's not meant to be able to take people out of jobs. It's meant to reveal more about what we want to be able to have, which again is impact. Again, let me tell you a story. I worked for an organization that was doing some basic analysis. It wasn't very complicated, but it was further than they had ever gotten before. And you know what? They were excited about it. They loved it. They wanted it so much that they wanted to do more. And that's exactly it. You don't have to try and build the ark all in one day. It takes time. It takes planning. And small successes are going to lead to big successes later on down the road. Which means we also have to have a data gathering mindset. Let's jump back to the Old Testament here. Let's go to Numbers 13, 1 through 2 and 17 through 20. The Lord now said to Moses, Send out men to explore the land of Canaan. See what the land is like. Do your best to bring back samples of the crops you see. As a statistician and data scientist, this is amazing for me to hear. God basically said, Go collect data. Go take a look at the things that I've prepared for you. Bring back a sample. Show other individuals so that they can believe as well. Valuing data and data gathering is a mindset. We don't deal with data here. Really? Do you have an IT department? Do they not work with technology? Do you have a website? Do you pay someone to analyze the trends on your website? You see, all organizations deal with data. Even Christian organizations deal with data all the time. Organizations have changed with the times to better equip their employees to better handle the people they serve. Data is just another tool in this process. Again, let me give you a story. I talked with an organization about data and the value of it. And we were collecting data by hand, people writing things down on paper, other people uploading data into a computer. Now they were working with tablets out in the field. Now they're collecting data, uploading it quicker, trying to be able to do things faster. It all was a transition to a new data gathering mindset. They basically transitioned off the idea that, you know, data is just a cursory side thing to now something that is driving the organization forward. And really it all started with starting small and seeing some small successes with the limited data that they had. If data is going to be gathered, we need to be able to include everyone in the organization in this mindset, especially the IT department. 
They need to be in these conversations from the very beginning. Their buy-in is imperative to the success of any new analytics initiative. But again, we've got to want data. We've got to see the value in data if we're going to be able to use data well. Which means here, I'm going to go back to the leadership on this one. Let's jump to Acts, chapter 6, verses 2 through 4. We apostles should spend our time teaching the word of God, not running a food program. And so, brothers, select seven men who are well-respected and are full of the spirit and wisdom. We will give them this responsibility. Then we apostles can spend our time in prayer and teaching the word. You see, data scientists need support of leadership to be successful. We need empowerment. We need meetings. I know, scary. We need experimentation. And in all honesty, we need room for failure. Leaders, you don't need to do everything. So often I've talked to so many Christian leaders and organizations who feel like everything has to fall on their shoulders. You are amazing at what you have been called to do. The best part? So are we. We're amazing at what we've been called to do. This is where we can help. Again, this is where data scientists provide value. However, we cannot provide this value if we haven't done all the things mentioned up until now. We need to be able to have room to problem solve. We need to be able to ask questions, which also means we need to be good at listening. We need to start small. We need to speak the language of leadership. And we need to gather a data gathering mindset. This will bring everything together, data scientists and leadership, to make sure that we understand the problems at hand. All right, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Remember, our goal here is bridging this gap. We just got done talking about preparation and understanding. Next time, we're going to talk about how data can lead us from preparation and understanding all the way to the impact that we so desire to understand. Thank you all very much.